Technical skill number one, setting the drill bit. When you put the drill bit in, if it's set very long like this, it can become very cumbersome to drill with, getting the orientation. So when you set the drill bit, set it at a good working length, making sure you can get through the tissues. In this case, about five centimeters or two inches. That will make a nice working length so that you can control the drill tip much more easily. Technical skill number two, finding the circumference of the bone where you want to start drilling and preventing the drill tip from walking. In a cylindrical bone you need to find the midpoint of the circumference and start the drill there and orient the drill bit exactly 90 degrees to the circumference. If, if it's not exactly 90 degrees, it tends to walk. It tends to walk along the surface of the bone like that and can slip off the bone and plunge through. So find the center of the bone, hold 90 degrees to it, adjust the drill till you feel it start to bite the first part of the drill hole. Technical skill number three, drill at a slow and steady rate, not fast. This is approximately the rate of a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, about that rate. A slow and steady rate and hold the drill bit steady. As you turn, it's very easy for the drill bit to move like this and that will create an irregular hole and damage the bit. Hold the drill bit straight and steady. Technical skill number four. As you're drilling through the cortex, you'll feel it drilling and there's a moment where there's some increased resistance as it plunges through. Sense that increased resistance and be careful not to plunge. At that point, you slow up the rate of drilling Back off on the amount of pressure so you don't suddenly plunge through. Feel for the grip of the bone at the tip of the drill as it's about to pass through the bite of the bit. Technical skill number five, drilling the far cortex. Once through the near cortex, the drill bit easily passes to the far cortex. Make sure to feel the far cortex before you start drilling. If the orientation of the drill is not exactly what you want, make sure to pull back to the surface and reorient. Reorient. Do not attempt to bend the drill bit and change direction once, you, once the drill bit is deeply in the hole. To do so will result in the drill bit breaking and a retained piece of drill retained in the bone, which can be almost impossible to remove. Technical skill number six, avoid plunging. When drilling through the far cortex, be very careful to feel the tip of the drill engage and bite. And at that moment, slow up the rate of drilling and uh, reduce the amount of pressure on the drill bit so you don't plunge. If you drill with too much pressure without feeling that bite, you can easily plunge through and perforate important structures on the other side. So the technical skill is to recognize as the bit bites that you back off, you slow up the rate of drilling, you reduce the amount of pressure on the drill handle so you do not plunge. Evaluating the drilling technique. Did you find the center of the circumference of the bone and start drilling there? Did you avoid the drill walking on the bone by reorienting it? Did you feel the drill tip bite through the cortex and then advance to the far cortex? Did you feel the far cortex, start drilling it, and then carefully waiting for the sense of bite at the drill tip as it bites an increased resistance before it passes through so you do not plunge. Once you're through, 
evaluate how far the drill bit has gone through the bone. Has it gone through five millimeters like this, or did you plunge much further?